a very good morning to everyone so we will start today today's class and i will start with a quick recap of whatever we have done yesterday so let me just check uh, your level of understanding and in fact i got a call today morning uh, a few parents three of them were telling me uh, that the concepts are not going across clearly to the children now i just want to check once how many of you are feeling that the classes are a bit difficult and how many of you are feeling the classes are, are, are okay agar aapka class difficult lag raha hai to main uska level thoda sa kam karne ka koshish karunga so let me know do you feel the classes are becoming a little bit difficult for you to understand or is it okay for you to understand and i can go on in the same level Piyush Patil, uh, they are okay, fine. Piyush, which class are you in? Piyush, which class are you in? Let me just check. Classes are okay by Tekade. Uh, Bhagwat Tekade, okay, okay, fine. This uh, Vidarva Guru Masala, uh, let me just tell you, uh, you clarify your names once what is this vidarva guru masala i just want to know who you are vidarva guru masala if names are not there uh, it will be difficult for you to understand who are you most of you have written it's okay I want to check how many of you are in class 4 and 5 level. Class 4 and 5, you can write down your name and let me know I'm in class 5 and is it okay for you or not. Yeah, from 9th standard you won't have any difficulty Rohan, but I'm asking about students who are at a, a junior level. The classes 4th, 5th. Let me just check who said it's not okay. Vidarva Guru Masala, I remember. That person said. Yeah, Vidarva Guru Masala, you please write your name and then write difficult. So that I can understand. Which class are you in? Vidar famous Guru Masala, what is your name and your class? I'm waiting quickly. It's not difficult by Naim Siddiqui. Uh, class 5. Okay, Rahul. Rahul Rane, class 5. Is it okay with you or is it not okay? Are you understanding, Rahul? Fourth, Narendra Pariyani. Narendra Pariyani, uh, your child is understanding properly. Amit Sancheti, Dhruv Sancheti, 9. Little bit difficult. Class 8 won't be difficult. All right. Okay, uh, Smita Jain, that is Ritwik Jain. You told already that you're having, finding it difficult. Uh, I'm Kushal Pariyani of class 5th. Okay, Kushal. Fine, uh, let me see. There are children of class 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 9. I can understand it's a very big window, you know. From class 3 to class 9, uh, it's very difficult to cover all the classes in one lecture. But what I'll try to do is, I will try to make it as easy as possible for you. But understand one thing, have you ever uh, learnt a bicycle riding without actually riding on it? आप दूर से देख के कभी बाइसेकल चलाना सीख पाओगे क्या? तो आपको बाइसेकल चलाना है तो आपको साइकल पे चढ़ना पड़ेगा और साइकल पे चढ़ोगे उसको चलाना सीखोगे तो आपको दो तीन बार गिरना भी पड़ेगा या ज़्यादा भी हो सकता है गिर गिर जाओ आप तो अगर आप गिरोगे तो ही फिर आप साइकल सीख पाओगे 
कोई भी चीज़ सीखने के लिए फेलियर्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अगर आपको लग रहा है कि ये डिफिकल्टी है डिफिकल्ट uh, है क्लास दैट्स फाइन बिकॉज यू आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्लास यू आर फाइंडिंग ए डिफिकल्ट एंड इफ यू आर नॉट ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्लास जस्ट हैविंग फन ऑन द नेट देन यू वुडेंट हैव केयर्ड ऑल्सो राइट इफ इट्स डिफिकल्ट और नॉट तो अगर आप समझने का कोशिश कर रहे हो आपको डिफिकल्ट लग रहा है देन माई सजेशन इज ऑलवेज आई विल गिव यू अ ब्रेक ब्रेक जब मैं देता हूँ आपका जो नॉर्मल टाइपिंग्स है जो नॉर्मल आप चैट कर रहे हो आपका नाम लिख रहे हो हाय हेलो लिख रहे हो दैट कैन बी इन लोअर केस लेकिन जब आप कोई क्वेश्चन पूछोगे सवाल पूछोगे वो सवाल में आपका क्लास लिखना कि आप कौन से क्लास से हो और आपको क्या समझ में नहीं आया तो फिर मैं उसको दोबारा कोशिश करूंगा कवर करने के लिए एंड अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग लाइक आई ऑलवेज आई टोल दिस अर्ल यू एज वेल कि इंग्लिश को सीखना है तो इंग्लिश सुन के सीखो देर आर फोर स्टेजेस ऑफ लर्निंग इंग्लिश और एनी लैंग्वेज इट्स कॉल एल एस आर डब्ल्यू सो एल स्टैंड फॉर लिसनिंग देन कम्स एस स्पीकिंग आर फॉर रीडिंग एंड फाइनली राइटिंग तो अगर आप इंग्लिश ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा सुनोगे नहीं आपको हिंदी चाहिए मराठी चाहिए तो आप इंग्लिश सीखोगे कैसे आपको इंग्लिश सीखने के लिए इंग्लिश सुनना पड़ेगा आपको इंग्लिश डिफिकल्ट जाएगा थोड़ा सा लेकिन उसमें आप डरो मत इंग्लिश से अगर डरोगे तो इंग्लिश कभी सीख नहीं पाओगे इज इट क्लियर सो स्टिल इफ देर आर वेरी टफ कॉन्सेप्ट आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन यू इन हिंदी और मराठी एंड लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू देर आर लॉट मेनी स्कूल्स हु हायर टीचर्स फ्रॉम यू नो सदर्न इंडिया तेलेगु टीचर्स टैमिल टीचर्स केरला टीचर्स वाई दे डू इट यू नो बिकॉज दीज पीपल एट टाइम्स दे के नॉट स्पीक हिंदी प्रॉपरली और लोकल लैंग्वेज उनको आता नहीं है तो होता क्या है उसमें कि वो बच्चों के साथ इंग्लिश में बात करते हैं और बच्चे पहले उनको समझ नहीं पाते हैं बहुत चार पाँच दिन दस दिन बहुत डिफिकल्ट जाता है दो हफ्ता डिफिकल्ट जाता है और उसके बाद एवरी थिंग विल बी वेरी ईजी एंड उन्नति सी डू नॉट पोज क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू other things when we will get books when the class will open all for all these things you call your class teachers this is an online class we are supposed to deal with english and grammar whatever you are having difficulty and relevant to this particular thing you ask that other things do not question right now and it is very important to understand that books are not available till the time the lockdown is not over so when the lockdown is over the books will be available as usual so it's a simple common sense so again i'm telling please do not for the sake of chatting put down things on the chat box please try to make it an interactive class interactive class tab hoga jab aap chat mein class ka sath related cheez hi daloge alag alag cheez nahi daloge is it clear with everyone aur agar question puchna hai apna class likhna apna naam likhna aur question ko capital mein likhna to capital mein agar aap question likhoge mera dhyan तुरंत वहां पर जाएगा क्लियर एंड ऑल अदर यूजलेस डिस्कशन प्लीज डू नॉट डू ऑन द चैट बिकॉज इफ आई फाइंड पीपल आर डिस्कसिंग यूजलेस थिंग्स आई विल हैव टू ब्लॉक दैट यूजर बिकॉज आई डो नॉट हैव एनी अदर ऑप्शन यू आर डिस्टर्बिंग अदर्स सो डू नॉट डिस्टर्ब अदर्स और राइट आई होप इट्स ओके नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद आवर टू दिस लेसन एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर वी कवर प्रोनाउंस ये एंड Regarding the pronouns, if you have any difficulty, you can ask me right now. Otherwise, we'll go to the next set of pronouns, which are a little bit different from the ones that we covered. आपको याद है हम लोग ने पढ़ाया था आपको कल subject pronoun, object pronoun. So all these things that I have taught you yesterday, if you remember. यहाँ पर pronouns में किसी का भी अगर कुछ डाउट है यू कैन आस्क मी नेम दैट पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक आई विल क्लैरिफाई दैट टॉपिक वन मोर टाइम एंड इफ यू वांट इट इन अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ हिंदी यू कैन राइट सर प्लीज क्लैरिफाई अ लिटिल बिट इन हिंदी आई विल ट्राई टू डू इट बट इफ यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इन इंग्लिश इट विल हेल्प यू मोर सो आई जस्ट टेक अनादर वन मिनट टू चेक योर लेवल ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग इफ इट्स ओके नो डाउट्स आर देर आई विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ प्रोनाउंस so most of you have written okay all right and those who have it difficult uh, those who are finding it difficult what you can do is you have my whatsapp number right so what you can do is you talk to your teacher if you do not have my number they will provide you my number you type your difficult uh, the, the difficulty that you want to be clarified and send it across to my whatsapp number i will be covering it in the next day's class 
राइट सो यस्टरडे वी कवर सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउंस सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन मतलब जो काम कर रहा है वो सब्जेक्ट है ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन जिसका ऊपर वो काम हो रहा है और जिसके लिए वो काम हो रहा है वो ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन हो गया और पॉजिटिव एडजेक्टिव जब कोई भी नाउन से पहले ये एडजेक्टिव बैठेगा दिस इज ऑल्सो टाइप ऑफ प्रोनाउन बट इट्स कॉल्ड प्रोजेसिव एडजेक्टिव जब माई योर हिज हर ये इस तरह का जो एडजेक्टिव uh, है ये प्रोनाउंस पॉजिटिव प्रोनाउंस बोला जाता है इनको पॉजिटिव एडजेक्टिव राधा इस तरह का पॉजिटिव एडजेक्टिव अगर नाउन से पहले बैठे माई पेन पेन इज द नाउन माई पहले बैठा तो पॉजिटिव एडजेक्टिव हो गया और वही नाउन का बाद में अगर बैठे वो पॉजिटिव प्रोनाउन हो जाएगा दिस पेन पेन इज नाउन आफ्टर दैट वी आर यूजिंग इज माइन सो दिस पेन इज माइन आई होप एवरीथिंग वॉज क्लियर यस्टरडे नाउ वी विल चेक अ फ्यू मोर सेट्स ऑफ प्रोनाउन इम पर्सनल प्रोनाउन एंड पर्सनल प्रोनाउन नो वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इम पर्सनल प्रोनाउन एंड पर्सनल प्रोनाउन Let's take an example. It is fine. It is winter. It rains. Now, if you see here, this it is winter. It is fine. Are we talking about someone in particular? We are not talking about someone in particular. So, when we are not talking about someone in particular, this is called impersonal pronoun. As a pronoun, जो कोई भी noun के खास noun के बारे में नहीं बता रहा है इट रेन्स मतलब क्या कौन रेन द रेन रेन्स सो इट रेन्स मतलब द रेन रेन्स तो यहां पर नाउन कोई है नहीं सो इट रेन्स इट्स नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट अ नाउन इन पर्टिकुलर एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड इमपर्सनल प्रोनाउन जब कोई पर्टिकुलर नाउन के बारे में बताया नहीं जा रहा है उस प्रोनाउन को हम लोग बोलते हैं इमपर्सनल प्रोनाउन और वही चीज उल्टा हो गया अगर पर्सनल प्रोनाउन बन जाएगा अगर हम लोग किसी चीज के बारे में खासकर बता रहे हैं किसी नाम के बारे में किसी व्यक्ति के बारे में किसी स्थान के बारे में तब वो पर्सनल प्रोनाउन बन जाएगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल राम राम इज अ काइंड बॉय ही हैज लेंट हिज बाइसिकल टू विजय तो राम इज अ काइंड बॉय किसके बारे में बात कर रहे हैं राम नाउ यहां पर जब ही बात आएगा दिस इज अ प्रोनाउन दिस प्रोनाउन इज कॉल्ड अ पर्सनल प्रोनाउन बिकॉज इट इज रेफरिंग टू अ पर्सन राम क्योंकि यहां पर जो प्रोनाउन है जो नाउन के बदले में यूज हो रहा है दिस ही इज यूज टू डिस्क्राइब राम इट इज रेफरिंग टू राम सो राम के बारे में जो ही बता रहा है दैट ही बिकम्स अ पर्सनल प्रोनाउन इज इट क्लियर ना आई जस्ट वॉन्ट यू टू चेक इफ यू अंडरस्टूड क्लियरली देन आई विल बी गोइंग टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक आई विल गिव पॉजिज राइट नाउ Because if I go too fast, it will be difficult for small children to understand. तो मैं थोड़ा थोड़ा break देते देते next topics में जाऊँगा हो सकता time थोड़ा ज़्यादा लगे but if people do not understand, my class will not be serving its purpose. So check your understanding. आपको समझ में आ गया impersonal pronoun, personal pronoun क्या होता है If you have understood, I will go to the next topic then. All right. Now I will go to the next topic. Demonstrative pronoun. ये अलग अलग कॉमा से मैंने प्रोनाउन को लिखा और ये प्रोनाउन जब मैं लिख रहा हूं अलग अलग प्रोनाउन का भावना काबरा इट्स नॉट क्लियर इट्स नॉट क्लियर ओके भावना प्लीज टेल मी वॉट इज नॉट क्लियर वॉट यू वॉन्ट मी टू एक्सप्लेन वन मोर टाइम Yeah, please. Uh, if you have some questions, you can post it on my WhatsApp number. So what I have done right now is impersonal pronoun. Impersonal. Usko bola jata hai jo kuch kisi bhi vyakti ya sthan ke baare mein khas nahi bata raha hai. Aise hi bata raha hai. It is fine. What is fine? Who is fine? To koi khas ke baare mein nahi bata ja raha hai. So that is called a impersonal and impersonal pronoun. Or personal pronoun kya ho gaya? personal pronouns are those which are referring to a particular person now let's go to the 
पर्सनल प्रोनाउन इज नॉट क्लियर भावना ओके वन मोर टाइम आई टेल यू पर्सनल प्रोनाउन प्रसन्न काबरा पोजिटिव प्रोनाउन ओके All right. So, uh, fine. I, I'll I'll cover these topics one more time. Personal pronoun and possessive pronoun. But I do not want to slow down the pace of the class. Possessive pronoun. I'll have a doubt class maybe somewhere in the evening, and I'll let you know. Uh, so this possessive pronoun I can clarify that time. So personal pronoun is when I am talking about a noun in particular. For example, I'm talking about Ram. तो राम के बदले में जब मैं ही यूज करूंगा तो वो ही प्रोनाउन है तो दैट प्रोनाउन इज रेफरिंग टू राम सो इट इज अ पर्सनल प्रोनाउन और इम्पर्सनल कौन सा हो गया जब हम लोग खास किसी चीज के बारे में किसी आदमी के बारे में किसी औरत के बारे में किसी जगह के बारे में बात नहीं कर रहे हैं देन वी आर यूजिंग इम्पर्सनल प्रोनाउन लाइक इट रेन्स इट इज अ प्रोनाउन इट इज अ प्रोनाउन बट इट किसके बारे में बात कर रहा है किसी के बारे में बात नहीं कर रहा है इट रेन्स मतलब द रेन रेन्स तो ये जो हो गया इसको इम्पर्सनल बोलते हैं सो इम्पर्सनल जब वी आर नॉट पॉइंटिंग आउट टू अ पर्टिकुलर नाउन सो दैट इज यूज्ड एज अ इम्पर्सनल प्रोनाउन Now see, understand one thing. There are few people who will, uh, who are really not understanding anything about the pronouns. Personal pronoun, personal pronoun, possessive pronoun, possessive pronoun, personal pronoun. See, uh, the first thing you have to understand is, if your basics are not clear, you will not understand anything. The second thing is. If you are not listening to me, you will not understand anything. These are the two points. You make it very clear. आप समझने का पहले कोशिश करो बोल क्या रहा हूं और अगर फिर भी आपको समझ में नहीं आए then uh, this class is not for you. Let me just tell you, because I am trying to make it as easy as possible. इससे easy grammar नहीं हो सकता है So understand one more time. I'll tell you, possessive pronoun मतलब जब मैं कोई चीज मुझे belong करता है उसके बारे में बता रहा हूं तो वो possessive noun हो गया Like This book is mine. और वो noun के पीछे में बाद में बैठेगा So when I'm using this mobile is mine. तो mine मैं mobile के बाद में use कर रहा हूं पहले क्या बोल रहा हूं This mobile. तो mobile किसका है मेरा है तो possess मतलब किसी को belong करना मुझ मेरा जो जो सामान मुझे belong करता है तो उसको मैं बोलता हूं my possessions. Possessions are the ones. Which belong to me. So this mobile is mine. That is called a possessive pronoun. So the mobile is the noun. Uske baad it belongs to who? Me. So that is called a possessive pronoun. And and the second one is personal pronoun. I told already when I am using a particular noun. Pronoun hai kya? Pronoun wo cheez hai jo noun ke badle mein use hota hai. For example, if I say Ram is going to the market. Ram is buying vegetables. Ram is like riding a bicycle. Ram is meeting his friends. तो हर बार हम लोग राम 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 यूज कर रहे हैं तो ये सुनने में खराब लगता है और ये ग्रामेटिकली सही नहीं है तो हम लोग उसको क्या करेंगे राम के बदले में हम लोग नाउन जो है राम इट्स अ नेमिंग वर्ड उसके बदले में प्रोनाउन यूज करेंगे सो राम इज गोइंग टू द मार्केट ही इज राइडिंग अ बाइसिकल ही इज बाइंग वेजिटेबल्स तो यहां पर जो ही है किसके बारे में बोल रहा है राम के बारे में सो दैट इज द रीजन ही इज कॉल्ड अ पर्सनल प्रोनाउन बट वेन आई से इट रेन्स इट इज फाइन इट इज विंटर आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर पर्सन नो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ कंडीशन नॉर्मल इट रेन्स सो वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट समथिंग यूजिंग अ प्रोनाउन इट इज अ प्रोनाउन but we are not talking about a particular name a person or a place it is called impersonal pronoun now if you have 
still not got it clear when i uh, end the video the recording will be there of course with you you revise and listen to the recording because you know the english levels are very different across there are some children who will understand easily some children will find it very difficult so those who are finding it difficult you have not paid enough attention to your english so now onwards go for more recording and listening to it and this is not a quiz where you need to just participate by typing anything aapko samajh mein aaye tabhi aap usko type karo aur answer do is it clear aur fir bhi agar nahi ho aap mera whatsapp mein mobile mein मैसेज भेजिए और उस मैसेज में अगर मुझे मिले कि बहुत सारे लोग कुछ कुछ चीज समझ नहीं आए तो मैं अलग से एक डाउट क्लास उसके लिए जरूर अरेंज करूंगा नॉट डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउन सो डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउन इज वॉट डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउन इज वेन एवर वी आर शोइंग समथिंग डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन का मतलब होता है टू शो समथिंग सो डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउन इज अ प्रोनाउन विच इज शोइंग समथिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस रिमोट इज mine okay so this mobile is mine so these are what i am referring to something i'm pointing out this this one so when i'm pointing out to something that is called demonstrative those pen are mine so those pen are mine i'm pointing out which one those to aap finger point karke jo cheez ko dikha rahe ho it is called a demonstrative pronoun now can i have examples of getting uh like i want a few examples of demonstrative pronoun let me give like let me ask you this question write down a sentence which has got a demonstrative pronoun write down uh, a sentence which has a demonstrative pronoun in it I'm waiting for the answers. I'll just check the answers of some time. I'm scrolling up to check if there were other messages. Yeah, most of the people are finding it clear. I do understand, but there are few people who are not understanding. Few students who are not understanding. There are some students who are not understanding. yeah i got a few answers uh shushma choudhury this is my class okay you're pointing at it archit agarwal a new name i found this today uh this mobile is mine very good uh, rohan pandit this is an apple good gorya agarwal that cell phone is mine very good rahul rane these pencil these these when you're using t h e a z s e these these is a plural so these pen are mine so jab bhi aap plural karoge koi bhi cheez ka zyada quantity bataoge usme you is nahi use karoge are use karoge so these pens are mine not these pen is mine it's a wrong english these pens is mine is a wrong english these pen are mine so that is the way you have to write those headphones are mine radhe rajput very good and shivani has given an answer this is my pen right so most of you have got it right part sapkal swarnil joshi gopal rajput bhakti malpani pravin patel bhagwat tekade pooja shelkar those are my parents very good uh shruti gaware this pencil is mine that is right nikhil uh, nitin khilakar this video is not available sandeep narote those books are mine suhasini choudhury the, the, this car is mine very good everyone has given right answers now pramod chaide sunil nange aryan bharti ishan badgujar nice no gopal raut uh, what are you talking about i do not understand who is this gopal raut uh can i come and get the kids together it's, it doesn't make sense to me so please do not post things uh, irrelevant things
now with the idea of amit sancheti who is chatting because i think you are not listening to me i very clearly told i very clearly told that when you are pointing out your finger to show something that becomes a demonstrative like i'm pointing a finger at this this is my pen so that is called a demonstrative pronoun if you still do not understand see the recordings so most of you have given the right answer now i will go for the indefinite pronoun what is indefinite pronoun indefinite pronoun is when we are talking about something So many buffering signs is buffering heavily i guess uh, i think there's a problem with the internet connectivity let me just check it out we are still with demonstrative pronouns i wanted to go in. if the video has stopped you close that screen and restart it it will start working yeah pranav kitekar has given the right answer somebody has stolen my watch very good indefinite pronoun somebody has stolen my watch many people are facing video difficulty let me know if you are able to hear and see me properly is it okay it's going on and off at times i do not know what is the reason for that but let me just check if i can run a speed test again on my uh, computer it's clear now very good that's working now good rohan pandit i have nothing to eat it's it's not a uh, you know indefinite pronoun All right. It's it's running fine right now. I have been told. तो इसका मतलब क्या है उसका कोई भी पोएम के बारे में लोग जानते नहीं है पोएम फेमस नहीं है सो नन ऑफ इस पोएम मतलब कोई भी नहीं नन बट फूल्स हैव एवर बिलीव इट सो वेन यू आर यूजिंग दैट वर्ड नथिंग यू कैन हैव You can remember negative में none, none मतलब no one. All were drowned. Some day he is a sharper. Nobody was there to rescue the child. Did you ask anybody to come? Yeah, I think Rohan Pandit, you were not wrong actually. Uh, you were correct. You know, like uh, I have nothing to eat. So nothing is we are referring to something very very ambiguous. That's okay. all right now i think you have been able to understand the indefinite pronouns now i want the distributed pronoun example where you use words like each either and neither each either and neither so all these words if you use it becomes a yeah gunjan chaudhary anyone is standing behind me or you can write someone is standing behind me or if it's a question is anyone standing behind me who took my watch now when you say who took my watch and you are using it to question it becomes an interrogative pronoun interrogative sentences we have learned earlier 
जो सवाल पूछता है जो सेंटेंस उसको इंटेरोगेटिव सेंटेंस बोलते हैं तो इंटेरोगेटिव प्रोनाउन मतलब क्या है जो प्रोनाउन यूज करके आप सवाल पूछेंगे इट बिकम्स एन इंटरोगेटिव प्रोनाउन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव एंड पोजिटिव प्रोनाउन सो I told you like you know there is the, at times you will find certain qualities overlap. For example, when I say this pen is mine, I am using it both as a demonstrative pronoun, sorry, as a uh, possessive pronoun, and I am also using it as a demonstrative pronoun. When I am pointing out this pen is mine, I am using it in both ways. So this can overlap. It's not like अलग अलग है, अलग अलग नहीं है. इनमें से जो जो क्वालिटी सेटिस्फाई करता है वो उस तरह का प्रोनाउन बन जाता है सो डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउन कैन ऑल्सो बी अ पॉजिटिव प्रोनाउन इनडेफिनेट प्रोनाउन इनडेफिनेट प्रोनाउन इज अगेन आई एम पीपल आस्किंग मी कैन यू या इनडेफिनेट प्रोनाउन पीपल हैव आस्ट मी अगेन इनडेफिनेट प्रोनाउन इज वेन वी आर Not referring something concrete, किसी ठोस चीज के बारे में किसी खास चीज के बारे में बात नहीं कर रहे एक एवरेज जनरल बात कर रहे हैं लाइक एनी वन सम वन नो वन वन तो ये जब बात करते हैं हम इंग्लिश में वन नो वन नोज सम वन नोज एनी बडी सम बडी नो बडी सो वेन वी यूज वर्ड्स लाइक दिस वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट एनी वन इन पर्टिकुलर दैट टाइप ऑफ प्रोनाउन इज कॉल्ड इनडेफिनेट प्रोनाउन सो examples of indefinite pronoun if you want as i said one hardly knows what to do one is a indefinite pronoun then somebody has stolen my watch clear what is everybody's business it's nobody's business so what is everybody's business everybody is a what is it it's a indefinite pronoun so everybody somebody nobody one no one someone all these are indefinite pronoun because it does not tell about anyone in particular okay now radhe rajput given answers of uh distributed pronoun it's neither your nor mine it's okay each of this each of these pernil sada varte each of these so when we are talking about each of matlab usme zyada hai na quantity ek ke bare mein to baat nahi kar rahe to usko plural plural bana do this becomes plural as these so each of these are mine who is there to increase my volume very good who koi khas cheez ke bare mein baat nahi kar rahe to who is there to increase my volume it's okay vidan neither he works nor he stays at home that's okay fine neither nor there's a neither nor either or fine these are all distributive anybody is behind me so anybody is behind me or somebody is behind me that is a better sentence each one is watching my mobile phone that's fine each one is watching my mobile phone each of these again sanjay nafde each of these is mine so these matlab jab hum bol rahe hain we are talking about more things so each of these are mine each of these are mine should be the right answer now we have covered enough of grammar uh impersonal personal demonstrative indefinite distributive and the last one is a relative pronoun relative matlab i have found the pen now you see here which which i'm marking it in red so when i'm using this word which we are referring to a pen in particular i have found the pen which i lost so i have found the pen i have lost the pen ye dono ke beech mein relation hai i lost the pen और वही पेन को मुझे मिला तो जो पेन खो गया था वही पेन मुझे वापस मिला इसमें ही रिलेशन है सो so, इस तरह का रिलेशन जब रहेगा तो ये विच जब यूज हो रहा है उसमें दैट इज अ रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन आई हैव फाउंड द पेन विच आई लॉस्ट और लेट्स से 
I met I met Amitabh who is a movie star I met Amitabh who is a movie star so who हम लोग क्या कर रहे हैं रिलेशन निकाल रहे हैं हम I met a movie star. I met Amitabh but I, there can be so many Amitabhs तो उसको एक रिलेशन लाओ कौन सा अमिताभ के बारे में बात कर रहे हो हु इज अ मूवी स्टार सो वेन यू फाइंड रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू पार्ट्स ऑफ अ सेंटेंस विथ अ प्रोनाउन इट इज एक्टिंग ऑल्सो एज अ कंजंक्शन एंड ऑल्सो एज अ रिलेशन टू द पर्सन दैट आई एम रेफरिंग टू इट इज कॉल्ड अ रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम यूजिंग अ ग्रीन पेन विच इज मैनुफैक्चर बाई यूनिबॉल आई एम यूजिंग अ ग्रीन पेन The green pen is manufactured by Uniball. So there are two sentences. I am joining the two sentences using a pronoun, and it's in a relation to each other. So I am using a green pen, which is manufactured by Uniball. So here, par which kya kar raha hai? Pen ke baare mein relation nikal raha hai. Main kaun sa pen use kar raha hu? Jo pen Uniball ne banaya. So now I hope uh, things are clear with you. Let me just check uh, so that I can go to public speaking. Naeem Ahmed Siddiqui given the right answer. Each of the boys gets a prize. That's right. Each of the boys gets a prize. Naeem, you're following Ren and Martin. Very good. You're using the book. Yeah, Tanay Tekde. I saw an old man who is deaf. I saw an old man who is deaf. Relative pronoun. Very good. I met Virat, who is a cricket player. Aditya Zalte, uh, your English sentence is wrong over here. I met a Virat. When you are using a proper noun, you do not need to use a and like that. Okay. I met Virat, who is a cricketer. I met a person who is a principal. That's okay. Fine, Aditya. I met my friend who is a singer. Very good, Pushpa Kamre. I found that car which I saw five days ago. Radhe Rajput, lovely. I met my best friend after a long time. So this is not having a pronoun. You can say uh, I met my best friend who returned home after a long time. You have to use the pronoun. Yaha par pronoun kaha hai? Yaha par sirf I pronoun tha. Or koi pronoun hai nahi na? So I met my best friend. Who returned after a long time? What is the difference between possessive pronoun and demonstrative pronoun? I again told there is not like much difference. The only thing is whenever I'm pointing it like this is my pen. So this is my pen. It becomes a demonstrative pronoun. This pen is mine. It is both a demonstrative pronoun and a possessive pronoun. This is my pen. Is a demonstrative pronoun and a. If you see, remember, there is something called possessive adjective. This is my pen. Is a demonstrative pronoun and a possessive adjective. So, ये थोड़ा सा confusion है. English में थोड़ा थोड़ा confusion रहता है. Pronouns में adjective क्यों घुसा दिया? Pronouns में adjectives घुसा दिया. This is the way they have written the grammar book. Because it is actually defining the quality of that particular thing, it's also used as an adjective. But actually, possessive adjectives are parts of pronouns. I hope uh, things are getting clearer. It will get clear. See, you try to understand. आप लोग ने grammar अच्छा से ढंग से कभी पढ़ा नहीं. तो अगर आप लोग ने grammar ढंग से कभी पढ़ा नहीं हो, पढ़े नहीं हो, तो आपको शुरुआत में थोड़ा थोड़ा मुश्किल जाएगा क्यों मुश्किल जाएगा क्योंकि अलग अलग चीज को मैं रेफर कर रहा हूं नाउन प्रोनाउन एडजेक्टिव पोजिटिव इंडेफिनेट डेफिनेट तो ये इसको इतना कॉम्प्लिकेटेड मत ले लो इसको आसानी से लो यू विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग टेन परसेंट फिफ्टीन परसेंट दैट्स ओके डो नॉट वरी कल जीरो परसेंट आज टेन परसेंट समझ में आ रहा ना अभी उसको वीडियो को आप देखते जाओ 
और जितने जितने आप क्लास में आगे बढ़ते जाओगे उतना ईजी होता जाएगा अब साइकिल पहले दिन में चढ़ के अगर सोचो कि मैं दूसरा दिन में एकदम पूरा दोनों हैंडल पकड़ के चला लूँगा मेन रोड में ऐसा तो हो नहीं सकता है तो आपको साइकिल भी सीखना है तो धीरे धीरे सीखना है ना तो यू हैव टू लर्न दिस लैंग्वेज स्लोली डू नॉट बी इन अ हरी द ओनली थिंग इज कंसिस्टेंसी सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ द क्लास ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड ट्राई टू मेक श्योर दैट यू आर फॉलोइंग वॉट एवर आई एम टेलिंग इफ यू आर नॉट फॉलोइंग मेक अ नोट ऑफ इट सेंड ऑन माई व्हाट्सएप नंबर एंड आई विल डू द नीडफुल आई विल टेक डाउट क्लासेस नो लेट्स सी ऑफ यू आंसर्स अगेन I read a book which was written by Rahul Rahul Dahil very good Anand Paril nice Police found the man who broke into my house see broke again is a wrong vedanta ori broke is a wrong word broke break ka past tense hota hai broke so police found the man who broke into my house एक कोई कैपिटल में लिखा मैं देख लेता तो संजय नफरे दिस इज माय हाउस मेड बाय सिंघानिया कंस्ट्रक्शन यूज द प्रोनाउन यूज द प्रोनाउन दिस इज माय हाउस विच इज मेड बाय सिंघानिया कंस्ट्रक्शन सो विच आपको डालना पड़ेगा विच इज द प्रोनाउन यहां पर आपका प्रोनाउन नहीं था ऑल राइट नाउ इफ यू आर ऑल सेट आई विल गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्किल I have already explained what is the difference between possessive pronoun and a demonstrative pronoun. Rewind the video later on and see. Kunal Dipak Barhate, I met Cristiano Ronaldo, who is a best footballer. Who is best footballer? Again, this is wrong sort of writing in English. You know, I met Cristiano Ronaldo, who is a brilliant footballer, who is an excellent footballer, who is a gifted footballer. so uh, this is what we are trying to do keep that in mind and uh, let us see now what we can do about it so if it's okay with you should i end the class or you want a little bit of public speaking because you know while trying to clear the doubt 3 to 9 my classes are actually getting very very slow so uh, let me know if you're okay with this particular group because uh, or otherwise i'll make the group shorter i will only cover for 6 to 9 3 4 and 5 uh, maybe i cannot cover those who are not understanding so let me know if i can refer to the group and inform only those classes which can understand or let the class be as it is so do you want a little bit of public speaking now go back to the video whichever you do not did not understand see it over and over bar bar dekho और उसके बाद फिर भी समझ में नहीं आए देन यू कैन सेंड मी अ मैसेज ऑन व्हाट्सएप आई विल ट्राई टू क्लैरिफाई योर डाउट और मे बी हैव अ डाउट क्लास सेपरेटली इन द इवनिंग ओनली फॉर पीपल हु आर नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग तो इज इट क्लियर विद यू और राइट It's already 11:50. There is no time for public speaking. I told you already. Like, if you are very, very slow, uh, the classes will go a bit slow. No worries. I will try to cover public speaking again, uh, maybe tomorrow. And tomorrow I will do something. I will only address the doubts of these pronouns that I've covered, and nouns and pronoun me. Uska videos dekho. Jo bhi doubt hai, usko pucho. And then what I will do? I will clarify the doubts tomorrow. first i will start with uh, public speaking and then clarify the doubts tomorrow is it okay and uh, the only thing that i wanted to tell you before you go because this is was a public speaking class as well so little bit of public speaking if i do not touch it will be wrong so what i'll do is i will very quickly tell you a few things about public speaking so remember the first technique that i told you was imagine for a moment so when you go up on the stage you want to start your speech you start it with imagine for a moment that here i will tell you something and after that you are going to go back home and hug your parents 
now are you interested to know yes of course i am interested to know what you're going to tell me that will make me go back home and hug my parents so imagine for a moment is a very very powerful word and that powerful word is to be used in the beginning so keep that in mind so i have already explained that now i will explain the next one which is you focused question this you focused question is very very important class 10 class is not there mr naeem uh it will be class 9 class just after this conducted by bishaka ma'am all right so the the next technique that i'm telling you right now is you focused question what is a you focused question imagine that i'm going on a stage and asking you how many of you are interested to get 100 out of 100 in mathematics raise your hand so when you ask this question how many of you are interested to get 100 out of 100 the hands will go up so that is where you are actually making the person connected to you public speaking make connectivity very important hai. So up imagine karne ke liye bola tha apne. So they imagined now next there's a different way of starting starting you can use any of the techniques so i will be giving you around six techniques to start the first technique imagine is the first technique the second technique is you focus question now another you focus question how many of you are willing to know the techniques that will double your marks sorry again it got cut off let me just fix it all right so how many of you let's say i'm conducting a meeting with the business people so how many of you are willing to know the three techniques that will make your business profit go 30 percent higher than what you're doing right now aap log mein se kitne log ye sunna chahte ho wo technique kaun sa hai jo aapka business ka profit ko 30 se 40 percent bada de raise your hand so people will be interested to know that so when you ask you focused questions and you have to raise your hand along with that remember speaker jo bhi karta hai audience usko follow karta hai whatever the speaker is doing audience will blindly follow you you tell them to move a thumb they will move a thumb you tell them to hold the head they will hold the head you tell them to stand up they will stand up but remember you have to use that in a very skillful way so you are in command you are in command so when you start the speech you can start for example now ladies and gentlemen how many of you are interested to know the skills of digital marketing that will make you earn at least 50,000 rupees in a month so when you say that it is much better than telling hello my name is Swarup Datta today I'm going to tell you something about digital marketing sounds very very ordinary people start looking at their mobile so you have to go and not uh, speak like this you cannot speak like hello my name is Swarup Datta and I'm going to speak on digital marketing instead of that how does this sound how many of you are interested to learn about digital marketing that will make you earn 50,000 rupees per month see the difference so this is called the second starting which is the you focused question so what I want right now is practice imagine for a moment that beginning and you focus question record it I'm telling again repeatedly record it in your mobiles and keep it you will be able to analyze if you're not recording you are doing an injustice to yourself so make sure that you record something and keep it with you so that you can refer to those videos later on and see how you're doing how you're improving so two beginnings I've told first one is imagine for a moment think about that beginning kaise use karna hai and you focus question in that your hands should go up as well otherwise people will not follow you so they come into an active phase straight away so I hope you have explained the second uh, starting of a uh, public speaking let's see now uh, I hope I can end the class now and some people are writing Mahabharata and things like that please uh, stop doing that if you want to watch Mahabharata you can just go uh, leave the screen and go and watch it and let me just tell you to run the class properly I need the cooperation and support of the children if you type irrelevant things I will not be able to read things which you are asking me 
because on my chat window it's moving very fast 200 people i cannot scroll see and speak to you at the same time so make sure you do not do it all right all right good so a lot of people they have they have given the opinions and so practice imagine for a moment a new focus questions and the th third thing is just check about nouns pronouns the types of nouns and the types of pronouns any difficulty send me on my whatsapp number i will be covering it in a different doubt class okay thank you have a good day bye bye and if you like the class do not forget to click on the like button and uh, subscribe my channel if you haven't done it See, please take idiom and proverbs. I will take it when the time comes. Ms. Bhavna, I will take it when the time comes because people are not able to understand pronouns over here right now. So the challenge is pretty high. I will go stepwise manner. I will go as per the steps, as per the steps because I cannot take uh, randomly from here and there. It will make things difficult for the children. So I will go in a phase-wise manner. My target is not the 14 days of or 21 days of lockdown. This class is going to continue further as well if I have told you correctly earlier as well. So remember this and make sure that we go in a stepwise manner so that children follow what we are telling them. And uh, maybe if you're insisting, what I'll do is I'll, I'll probably arrange a different class for idioms and phrases that will be announced separately, but not in this class. My WhatsApp number can be found on my uh, in the class groups, but from the class teachers you can collect it, or you can get it from the school website. So thanks. I'm ending the class right now. Time for the next class. Bye bye.